Hello everyone, Greg Wilkins here on Monday, March 1st, 2021 for today's edition of the Song of the Day devotional. Today's devotional is inspired by the Minister of Education at the Greater Bible Way Tabernacle Miracle Temple, my home church, Minister Linda Bradley, and it was based on her review of the Sunday School lesson last week, or yesterday I should say. Today's devotional is entitled, That's Love. Mark is 15 and just got his learner's permit. And of course, he's got that itch to drive. So he asked his father, hey, dad, can you take me out driving one day? He said, sure, no problem. We'll go now. He was all excited. He, They went to the garage and he hopped in the, in the passenger seat. And the father's like, where are you going? He said, we're going driving, right? He said, uh, yeah. And he pulled out the ride lawnmower. He said, yeah, we're going to the backyard. Let's go. All right. Hop on and start cutting the grass. He looked at him with a puzzled look on his face. But he got on the lawnmower and started cutting the grass. After about a few minutes, his father stopped him and said, look, now look, you're, le- you're veering all over the place. Your lines aren't straight. So you got to make sure you're, you got to keep your line straight as you go. It's not about speed yet. You got to keep, you got to keep a straight line when you're cutting grass. Okay. I said, yes, sir. So he started back and he noticed that he was starting to veer to the left a little bit. So he corrected himself and he got, he focused more on staying straight. Now, when it came to taking the turn to go back up, is his father stopped him again. He's all right. You made that. You made that turn too wide. You see the grass that's in between the two lines you cut. You got to make it closer so you can keep those lines. You keep keep the grass evenly cut. But yes, sir. So the next time he had to make a turn, he was more conscious of it and he got better. And with more practice in cutting the grass on a ride lawnmower, he got better at it. And eventually, he started earning money in cutting grass. Not only at home, but in the neighborhood and in other places around town. About five months later, his father took him to the golf course. He, he liked playing golf and of course his father liked playing golf. And so he said, hey, hey son, you drive the golf cart. He was a little excited. So he's driving the golf cart and go heading towards the 10th hole. His father said, oh, I forgot something. Let's turn around. But when you turn around, keep the cart on the path. Okay. So like, sure, no problem. And he just started turning that. Whoa, 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 son. What are you doing? So I'm turning around the golf cart, dad. I'm like, no, no, no. You didn't even check to see if anybody was coming yet. You always got to make sure if your path is clear before you make a turn. And you got to make sure nobody's behind you either. So you don't impede them from going. Oh, okay. Yes, sir. So he started to make the turn and he found out it was a little bit more difficult to make that turn by keeping the cart on the path so he had to learn he had to learn how to put it in reverse and keep it on the path and doing that way so he learned the hard way he didn't stay on the path the first few times he did it that day but he got better at it and while they're at the golf course he, he, people were observing how well he was as a caddy so he picked up some side jobs being a caddy at the at the country club for not only his father but and his friends, but for other people who are members of the club as well. This went on for about another year and a half, and he was getting a little frustrated because all he was doing is driving golf carts and cutting grass. He wanted to do a little bit more, and he was getting even more frustrated. His friends were not only driving with licenses, but they had their own cars as well. But he kept on doing what he was doing, and then eventually his father said, hey, here are the keys, let's go drive it. So they went driving around the neighborhood first, and then they went on to the highway and then they went on to the interstate, applying everything that he had already learned and some more steps that his father was teaching him along the way about, all right, stop means stop. It's not a rolling stop just because you don't see anybody coming. All right, don't chance the yellow light if you're too far away. Go ahead and slow down and stop. Be cautious. All right, don't veer into the other lane. Always use your signals when you turn. He taught him how to properly use his mirrors. He, he, he gave him all, a lot of little information. And about seven weeks after that, he went and he finally got his license. His mother was happy that he got it. And his mother asked him, so what are you going to do now? And he looked and he looked at his father and he finally understood what he was going through. He's like, you know what? With all the money I have saved up from, from cutting grass and all those things, I think I can buy my own car. I don't think I need you guys to help me purchase a car. And his father looked at him with approval and he said, I'm proud of you, son. Let's go look online for a car that can fit your budget. Today's song of the day is entitled More Than Anything. By, and it's originally by Lamar Campbell in Spirit and Praise. But this song, this, this particular version is recorded by the Sunday Service Choir under the, the direction of Jason White. We learned in Sunday school on yesterday that there are many things we go through and there are many things that God will allow us to go through and do over and over again until we get it right. 
And sometimes it's not, sometimes it's not, we don't do the task correctly. And sometimes there's something on the inside of us that's preventing us from doing the task correctly. And sometimes we've got to go back and correct ourselves. We gotta each day examine ourselves to make sure that we are in right standing with God and and seek that forgiveness and seek that that honest to goodness uh, forgiveness and pursue the right thing of God from God with God. You know, we can't do this on our own and we're not smart enough or big enough or bad enough to think we can. So with God's instruction, we go through life day by day by day. And it sometimes seems like we're stuck because we keep doing the same thing. We find ourselves in the same pattern. But God's teaching us something while we're in that pattern. He didn't throw up his hands and say, you know what? Forget it. I tried. Like we may sometimes do with others we know and say, you know what? You do this on your own. Forget it. The love is not that God keeps us doing the same thing. And it's not that God keeps us in the same place. The love is that while we're in that place, God is still teaching us. God is still loving us. God is still encouraging us. God is still providing us with the answers to get through and pursue to the next level. Mark couldn't get to the next level of driving go-karts until he learned how to properly cut grass. He couldn't get behind the wheel of a car until he learned how to not impede people behind him and how to turn in a tight and do a three-point turn. He couldn't do that until he learned the lessons before. And then he had to learn the patience of waiting on others while caddying. He had to learn the patience to watch his surroundings while cutting grass. He had to learn all those things first. And then he moved to the next level. That's what God is doing to us. So I don't want you to feel disappointed or frustrated or anything. Be encouraged that while you're waiting, while you're still there, God is with you. God is still teaching you. God is still guiding you. God is still directing you. And when the time comes, God will elevate you to where you're going to next. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you on today. We thank you for your teaching. We thank you for your guidance. We thank you for your love. We thank you that you you love us enough to stay with us during our mistakes, through our mistakes. And we just want to show you how much we love you. The song says, Lord, we love you more than anything. We want to show you that you love you, not just because you provide us with something, because you can provide us with something. We don't we don't love you because you are the because the healing, because we love you because you are the healer. We love you because you are the savior, not because of the saving. And we just want to appreciate you and love you on today to the best of our abilities. In Jesus' name, amen. We've got a couple of birthday shout outs on today. Happy birthday to Brandy Parker. Very, very close friend of mine. Happy birthday to one of the best piano players I know. Happy birthday to Thomas Bandy. Happy birthday to my cousin, the Chick Mabry. And happy birthday to a phenomenal student and a good flute player. No, trumpet player, I'm sorry. Erica Lavasser. I hope you all are having a very blessed day and may God bless you with many more birthdays. If you have any birthday shout outs you would like to send me, or maybe you have a song request or a prayer request, or just a comment in general. Here are a few places you can leave those. You can leave us on you can leave a message underneath this video, or you can send me a note on Facebook Messenger, or you can send me an email at glwilkins78 at outlook.com. Looking forward to hear from you and I'll get back to you as fast as I can. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. And if you know someone who may be blessed by this devotional video, please share it with them and share it with anybody you love or know or think might be blessed by it. I'm sorry for the length of today's devotional. I know it's a good one. I hope you're blessed by it. Nevertheless, despite the length, and I, don't, I want you to be encouraged that God has not left you. God has not deserted you. God is showing us something daily. Let us be mature enough to examine ourselves and get ourselves right. And let the love of God continue to lead us, lead us and guide us in all things. Enjoy today's song of the day, more than anything, performed by the Sunday Service Choir under the direction of Jason White. Take care and God bless. Say it.
it again. I love. I love Jesus. I do. I do. I do, Father. Yes. I worship and adore you. Just wanna tell you. Just want to tell you. Come on, tell him. Tell him. Lord, I love you. I think we can lift it up. I think we can take it a little higher. Come on, everybody. I love. 